All right, guys, we're doing a Technique Tuesday video. What I'm going to show is a way that you can still continue with your knee slice after you fail to get the underhook, which you shouldn't do. You she brought shame on your family. So I go for my knee slice, and Bird gets the underhook on me. Okay. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do if I feel I'm start reaching for my hips is I'm going to put a shallow whizzer in, not a deep whizzer. I don't want it to go deep. I want it to be shallow penetration. Okay, I wanna actually cup the back of his shoulder. All right, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see what he's about to do next. If Bird lays flat, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come through, all right? I'm going to connect my hand to my wrist. I'm gonna put my wrist hand on the back of his head and I'm gonna put downward pressure. And I'm gonna put downward pressure in the way that I feel him trying to get up. So it's not always gonna be straight down. If I feel like Bert's trying to scooch backwards to get up, I'm gonna put that pressure backwards. This is what's gonna buy me time to do the next part of my move. The next part of my move, okay, I'm gonna to look to redig an underhook on Bird. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from my hand on the wrist back to a shallow cup, okay? And I'm going to pull up. Now what's gonna happen is I'm trying to make a little bit of separation between Bird's arm and Bird's ribs. That way I've got some space to bring my left hand back into play, okay, and penetrate through where that underhook would be. So it's going to be jerk up, penetrate your hand pretty quickly, keep the pressure on the arm, and I'm just going to do a little wrap around. And that's going to let me redig my underhook. So the first arm that inserts is a wedge, so he can't do anything with this underhook that he has, but more importantly, he can't close the space off and prevent me from getting an underhook myself. So I close it off, keep a little pressure, do a quick circle and get back to my underhook. Now this will be a little different. If Bird got up or he does something different, I'm gonna change what I'm gonna do. If Bird, from this position, maybe I'm a little slow, he gets up on his arm, okay? I could try to reset him backwards with this by taking him over, but a lot of times it's just not a good idea. Maybe he's attached to my hips super well. If he's attached to my hips this well, let's turn a little bit. I have two options. One is gonna depend on where his arm is. So if Bird's arm, his hand is close to me at all, especially like if he's posting on his hand instead of his forearm, something like this. What I'm gonna do is come down and I'm going to chop his hand out. And it puts him down really well. I can post my hand on the mat. I can lean on him. I won't have a super shallow wizard for now, but now I can go back to hand on the head and I can keep him down. If Bird's arm is further away, that's a problem. I don't wanna reach super far to chop this out. I don't wanna compromise my balance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to a shallow wizard. I'm going to angle off and I'm gonna dive for this underhook. This underhook is great because it gives me a lot of pressure to start kicking his legs off. I can actually just finish my knee slice because that underhook stops his underhook from offsetting my weight. So I can chop or I can dive, okay? Um, you could go for guillotines and stuff from here. I don't think it's worth it. I think he'll just probably get taken down and he'll score on you unless your guillotines are amazing. So I'm looking for break him down, dig my underhook. Okay, if he's down already, what I can do, if I'm having no success pin, like getting my underhook back, he's just giving me too much pressure. Okay, I can look for his arm and I can come over the top and scoop it and I can feed it to my hand down here. Okay, it's very hard for him to stop this when he's down. So I go from putting pressure down, go ahead and keep this pretty tight. Okay, I can grab his wrist, I can grab his forearm, I can grab under his tricep with this space, but it's very easy to use your leg and your back to arch this off the ground just a little bit. And I can just hook somewhere by his forearm, maybe a little bit on his bicep. And what I can do next is bend this into his neck, okay? Now this gives me that pressure to keep him flat, which is what I really needed with my underhook to begin with to finish the knee slice. Now, because the angle is gonna be completely different on this, my normal rule about cutting out doesn't really apply. So I can start to block his legs, I can start to kick his legs off, or I can start to slide out while I do that. And that's gonna let me finish the knee slice here. So let's do a quick recap. I would love to dig my underhook back myself, but if I can't, I'm going to feed this arm to this arm, bend it so he can't get away, and then I'm going to flatten him and kick out. If I have room, I would prefer to get my underhook back. So we lift, insert, circle, get our underhook back. If Bert gets up first, it's very easy to chop that out. It's actually extremely easy. Actually, here's a tip. If you're struggling with this kind of stuff, chopping people's arms out when their weight's on it, go back to a shallow insertion here, okay? Pull him up off the mat a little bit. And then when he goes to put his hand back down, you can come back and slap it out of the way without with a lot of resistance. His weight's not on it anymore. 
This takes a little practice though. Most people don't like using their back. They don't like using their core to support their weight. All you gotta do is learn how to lift them just a little bit. Make him sneeze all over the mat. Now, if I can't break him down that way, I dig the under hook. I come down and then I finish my pass from here. Otherwise, we have now got a few different ways to pass the guy when we don't have our underhook. Now, there's other ways I'm not gonna cover in this video, but if you get into a real scrape, you can always windshield wiper back over this leg and go to these floating positions. But this is the upper body stuff. So that's Technique Tuesday move of the day. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and remember to eat your Panda Express. Bye, have a great time.